This is the corner of our kitchen that goes down into the crawl space. This board is completely gone. This is gone. It's sistered to that one. The board where the hole, the board that was where now there's a hole was I just touched it and it all fell away. So not sure what has gone on here, if this is something recent, if this is something from a long ago, but somehow some of this wood, not all of it, is totally rotted. And I think I think recorded. it's the softer wood, the pine wood, some of the harder wood did not deteriorate. So we're gonna sawzall it. We're we're gonna take the bad out and find out what the problem figure is. out what the problem is, solve the problem, and then do what we have to to get it repaired again. So Yay! Oh, is it nailed in? Yeah. Nailed into something that no longer exists there? Oh my goodness. Well, what's well, nailed into still exists. Well. Sort of. Sort of. what? Now what? What is that down to? The side of the house. Well, this is this is the board that was sitting on the foundation. Okay. Okay. That we probably should have taken up before we put down our floor, but then again. Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, all of this that's in here. So oh, but need, what's this board? That's that's the beam that it's sitting. On. That's the beam. Here we are. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. <laughs> You see that our kitchen project has moved outside. When you take down a vinyl window, you have to take down the um, pieces that are vinyl on the outside. We did a lot of learning last night. So my understanding is that this is nailed up here. Yeah, yeah this one is nailed right up there and it's, it's broke. And this one we don't, oh, it's broke. Lovely. Yeah. Yay! Now, the other discovery that we made is that underneath the siding is a small, thin foam board that you see from the other side. There is no plywood, there is no OSB, there is no house wrap. So, guess what that means? Yeah. What that means is this thin board right here, which is only about that thin, is all there is between us and the outside and that plastic or vinyl um, covering. So, what we'll do, not for the window, we're going to put up the 3 8 inch OSB on the outside. But, um, because that's what needs to be there. And OSB, even though it has, you know, it's not your most desirable chemical thing, it is board, it is the much stronger than plywood and it is the, uh, it's what they use for outside siding. So we will put um, OSB on the outside from this stud to this stud for now and then put the siding back on and that way when later much later time when we're ready to do all the rest of the siding we'll pull that siding off and just be able to extend the OSB out so that as we put windows in other parts of the house we'll make sure that there's OSB there and that we have the siding that we need for the protection we need for our home so we'll have this, and eventually we won't have the vinyl siding, we'll have something else. But for now, 
the vinyl siding OSB this then we'll have our pink insulation that will go in here and then we'll have our drywall that will go here so I'm going to show you up close what we're taking out we're taking out all of this wood the window is coming out all of this wood is coming out so that we have new frame new king studs and new, new header and new everything for the window and today is Christmas Eve day and we went to bed early last night we went to bed at nine o'clock and we had a really good night's sleep and today we are tackling the window because we have had light the world for Christmas light our home and we're getting a new window <coughs> that is sent to us with love from several other people the window's gone the demo continues we've got the window out I had to take a lot of siding off and I found I had to take more of it off than I had planned because of course well, because remember you stood in this exact spot and says what could go wrong yeah what could go wrong <laughs> but uh it it's gone wrong. only taking a little bit off means you're going to break it and and taking it off some of it was broken but not as much as if i left it hanging there and we have more in the that came with it right so it's all off and now i'm ready to take the studs off i'm going to put it like this so that we can maybe see it all right, so now we're past the point of no return. <laughs> There's no window right there, and it was 27 degrees this morning, yeah. wearing gloves on the inside. And so now we're going to take this part out and build. We're so excited to build. We know how to build. We laid in bed and figured it all out. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> that we haven't done any OSB over here or there because if we do we'll end up taking off more siding and end up going the whole way and that is not our project our project is to get a kitchen so yes we're putting the siding back on and we're leaving that for another time we will know that it's not done but we had to we have to stop somewhere or else we'll never have a kitchen and the whole house will have new siding and <gasps> hello that's not happening right now. <laughs>
Can you hold it? I got it. I'm gonna get hammer and nails into that corner, and then we should, that corner becomes the the, the, anchor. the anchor. Everything else fastens around it. So we can't even put the siding up until we get the stuff. The stuff. To do this. Yes. Oh. We were supposed to put some goop on this. Oh my gosh. Let's take it back out. Thank you for remembering that. So we're putting some sealant. This is the o OSI S quad. quad. Uh, it's it's a sealant that is designed for this type of an application. And we run a bead along all the corners, top and sides all the way. On the bottom, you leave a two inch gap every eight inches. So that if you do have water accumulating, it has a way to escape. But this seals it to where it can hold it in place and provide us a, a, a gap that it, it's a seal. I'm going to touch up a couple of places as you can see. And we're nailing uh, roofing nails. We use roofing nails to do this, which is really weird because we don't nail hardly anything. We screw everything. But so. this is for the manufacturer's recommendation. So we're doing what the manufacturer says because I'm assuming they know best how their product goes up. Okay, now you can get your hands into the goop. You don't want to. I know. So we put one nail in and then he's going to be on here and I'm going to go in there and level it. You're going to not I'm going to hold this, yeah. Hi. Hi. A lot of people do things for people at Christmas time. The best gift that you can get is from your heart, and the best gift that you can receive is from someone in love. And that is what we received with this. This was an absolute gift to us with love from one person that we know of and the other people we do not know who they were. And talk about lighting our world. <laughs> well, yeah. This. I actually have a window that, first of all, works, but knowing that the framing is not falling apart, which the other was, as, as, we, as we looked at the wood, what was under there, I mean, it was, it was gone. It was shot. It was totally rotted. Um, so, great window install. Certainly not a professional level job, but for our first window, <laughs> I think it's pretty good. So it's definitely going to work. We're thrilled with it. It's going to make our kitchen much, much better. Literally, this is the way we have spent our Christmas Eve. We're going to 
We, but we had to. <laughs> it's warm now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, if you don't realize what we found, this foam board is all there was. That's it. Well, foam board, insulation, and then drywall. There was no wood. And so now, as you can see, we've started putting wood and we'll continue. But we're going to go shower now and we're going to go do some Christmas caroling to bring some joy to others. There we go. <laughs> we hope that you have a very merry, merry Christmas. And we love you all. Thank you so much for being part of our lives. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>